Today on Toy Shoes, what are these, like, dollar store toys? Yes, yes, they're exactly a dollar. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we're checking out the entire line of Dollar Trees. You know, the store where everything's a dollar. This is their final faction line. And I was able to find all 15 toy things on the shelves. This... Oddly enough, was very satisfying. One, because of the fun that they're all a dollar. All right, so the entire line was 15 bucks, I think, plus tax. And they had them all, and they had shelves of these things, you know, all on the pay. It was amazing. So uh, it took me a little bit to kind of go through all of them, and finally ended up, yeah, they had every single one. And it basically boils down to four different sets you have the heroes and you have their weapons packs and then you have the villains and their weapons packs so it's basically the alpha team versus the karn and that's just that's just good old-fashioned good versus evil right there so to kick it off we have the hive class drone he's part of the karn and i like that it's it just it's a dollar for not only the card you get the figure you get to see everything in the line you get the little card you can cut out a la like old ninja turtles and there's a cartoon on youtube there's one episode <laughs> go watch it it's it's interesting get that cookie you have the brute you have the synthoid which is actually very cool i actually like that a lot and like i said on the side it says interchangeable arms so if you get the synthoid pack for a whole two dollars well, you can definitely army build these too if you really wanted to go that route. You got the Quake Arms accessory pack. That's cool. And then you have the Shock Arms accessory pack. It's kind of Halo-ish, right? Or just sci-fi. On the hero's side, Alpha Team 1, you have Shift. And she is a basically like a ninja master. So she does all the swords and all that kind of stuff. You got Ruck. And he's the guy that's the sergeant with one eye. Steadfast. He's the leader guy, he's got one eye and steel. He's the guy that flies or something. And then you have the ACRM, which they only had one of these, but there's a guy inside or he remote pilots it. I don't know, but he's got a heft to him along with the covert ops pack, the heavy arms pack, and the air assault pack as well. And I love getting all these accessories. The air assault pack is for the ACRM robot. So that's why he's got the holes all over him. This is exciting. Old school action figure five POA fun. I'm excited about this. 15 bucks for the entire line. Can't beat that. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Dollar Tree exclusive. This is Greenbrier International's final faction, the Karn versus Alpha Team One. And here's all of Alpha Team One out of the packaging and let me just be very clear in this. Again, these are dollar store figures. These are one dollar, one whole dollar for these toys. So don't expect much, but it's a lot of fun. They're fun to have just really simplistic five POA toys. Now some of the sculpts aren't exactly like, oh, A++, but yeah, it's still, you can have some fun with these, especially for the kiddos. Like <laughs> Steadfast here. Right? Not a whole lot going on, but a little paint, little touch-ups here and there, which a lot of customizers do. You can have some fun. I mean, the guy even has a trigger-holding finger, right? And you could, it fits the gun. So, I mean, they're doing something right. The helmeted head, you know, his face is what it is. He's got an odd-shaped head, I'll be quite honest with you. But you put the helmet on, and you'd never know. Plus his sweet robotic arm, that's pretty cool. And then you have Ruck, who watched the cartoon, and you'll hear this guy's voice. But again, very simplistic. He's got little portholes all over him. You can attach all the different weapons, the packs, make it to what you need. And then you have Shift. She's very G.I. Joe-ish, I will say. And unfortunately, the swords don't come out of her sheaths. Her hair kind of knocks in the way a little bit. She doesn't stand the best. And this is the one that's not painted the best out of all of them. Steel, he's pretty cool. He's got the jet pack to him, the wings. He looks cool. I keep wanting to call this guy Batwing for some reason, but five POA, and they do have peg holes on the bottom of their feet. The ACRM, though, I think is my favorite just because you can really customize the heck out of him, so to speak, with all the different portholes all over him, because boom, once you get all the weapons packs going, that's where these figures really come to life, 
and you can just arm the holy heck out of these. And that is very cool. It's cool to have so many different accessories. You can swap the accessories. You can put this backpack on this guy, put the wings on this guy. It doesn't matter. It's just awesome to have all these all together. And they even have a drone, right? So that's cool. You can fly this around and, and zap some of the Karn if you want. And you can put a string on this, it's like a battering almost. The Karn are my favorite though. That They are just very cool monsters and I could see this going with a lot of different toy lines in that three and three quarter inch style. The Brute is awesome. He holds his gun. He's got a great sculpt to him, five POA. His head will swivel. He's got some glowing red eyes to him, so he is very cool. Sculpted out, and again, you add a little paint to this guy, or army build the heck out of him, you can have an army of monsters. With the drone, he's very Swamp Thing-ish, especially in that metallic paint, right? Very cool to see, comes with a weapon as well. The Synthoid, though, is my favorite. A lot of different elements of sci-fi thrown together here. He's got Swap Out Arms, which, again, if you buy the pack outs, Boom! <laughs> you can put all the different accessories with these guys too, and they go wild because it's very alien, it's very monstrous, they got big huge sci-fi video game weapons to them, which again, yeah, you could probably figure out where to put these in other collections. I love the Synthoid because you get put giant cannons on its back, swap the arms out, and again, might make for some great army building. Just saying, if you were wondering in terms of the height, all of these figures go together with one another. The monsters are bigger, the robot's bigger than the monsters, which I think that works really nicely. I mean, the Brute and the ACRM are roughly the same size. With, let's say, Shift, she's smaller, as the girl, I guess, should be. Other toy lines, which this really reminds me of, like, say, Kenner, like if you wanna go the alien xenomorph route, yeah, they kind of sort of fit. I would say in the bigger figures, stuff like Batman's Kenner, yeah, that's when you start kind of sizing yourself out right there. Star Wars Power of the Force, largely fit in with these, not gonna lie. As does some of the toy pizza creations, right? Definitely check them out. They always have some great three and three quarter inch figures. And then the new Marvel 375s, I would say, Human Torch, he fits. Hulk, that's when you get, he should be a little bit bigger, I think, scale-wise. And if you have a playset, like a Waylon yutani playset that I made out of some old playset that I found at the thrift store, you can really have some fun with these. These are for the kiddos, or if you're a fan of old school toys in that sense. You get a lot of battles going on. Say you wanna buy the more expensive toys, get these for the kids, they're a dollar a piece. Have them throw them around, break them, buy them a whole new set tomorrow if need be. Or if you really wanted to use them for others, let's say I use them for the, the Alien Kenner collection, right? These do fit with the Xenomorphs. Think of it, you can you can create your, your own Alien movie in your head and it will be infinitely better than whatever they've come out with recently. But Carnage abounds, have them battling the Queen. You can make up your own storyline. For one whole dollar each, $15 total, you can have a complete set of action figure toys, and that is amazing for 2021. Dollar Tree, like I said, I went to go look for massive universal dollar figures for a friend of mine. They had the whole set, so I obliged. I got them all, and I'm happy that I did it to give you guys this look. These are fun, I recommend them three and three quarter inch, four inch fans, you're definitely gonna dig these, but I'm curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Have you picked any up? And what do you think? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything. Final Faction, and please, for the love of God, go watch that cartoon. It took nine minutes of my life. Gotta watch it. There's a dog. They gotta make the dog, the robot dog. That's, it's like a dog in a mech suit. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to toys, have fun. They don't need to be multiple points of articulation and spot on for the most part, but just have some fun. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.